Sure. Okay, now we're recording. Welcome, everyone. This is your Saturday tune up. Um, we are going to talk today a little bit about the full moon. I'm curious how everyone's feeling. Now, the full moon is tomorrow in Aries. Wh who's feeling the full moon? <clears throat> What might one be experiencing? Hold on, guys. I'm just letting people in. You can you can just raise your hand or you can put it in the chat or you can come off mute. This is for everybody. So anybody feeling the energy? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, there is an awful lot going on right now. So tomorrow we have this full moon. It's going to, by the time it reaches... Uh, it's peak. It's going to be about 16 degrees with Chiron. Are you familiar with Chiron? Chiron is the wounded healer. It's the part of us that is trying to master what we think is broken about us. Yeah. And so it's, it's a really interesting, uh, it's an interesting full moon because I, I feel like everybody's feeling like they're, they're, uh, they're tender places, you know, they're feeling um, tender right now. And I don't know if you've noticed that in inside of yourself or with people around you. Um, this is a time, you know, one of the things about Chiron is that Chiron is, it's actually a skill set. So I want you to think just right this second, even if you don't have the, any planets in, in Aries or Cardinal Signs, I want you to think right now about places that you feel are um, imperfect, will never be perfect, not good enough. It's even more than that. It's almost like handicapped pictures of yourself, um, pictures of yourself that you hold about broken, broken parts. That's what Chiron has to do with. And that's the mythology of Chiron is... Um, um, a healer who was able to heal others in the way that he felt broken, but never felt like he could heal himself. So right now, so this is up for all of us. Whenever this energy is in the collective, everybody's feeling it somewhere. So think about that for yourself. Like, where have you judged yourself as uh like it's it's like god didn't sew you up properly like there's a missing a missing part or there's something that just didn't get didn't get created the way that that you think it should be created and that often compares yourself to others or compares yourself to uh world norms or anything like that so just that's what's kind of coming up in the collective because this is with the moon there's a lot of feelings about that right now so just, just think about that as I talk about it. And, and a lot of this energy, I think it's going to come up in relationship to others because we have that sun in Libra, you know, and we've got Venus in Libra. And so um, when there's this opposition, it's almost like um, the love is over there with the people and we're over here, you know, and, and this is just a perception that happens, right? Because we have this swelling of this energy and the, these feelings and these um, awarenesses that uh, a lot about our own judgments of ourselves. So just as I talk about this, think about it for yourself, just reflect and see where you are in a process of self-healing, in a process of experiencing your own vulnerability because I always think of Chiron as, you know, when we talk about wounded, it's like there's a place that feels like, like it hurts and somebody's trying to put a little alcohol in the wound. You know, it's like a scrape that's getting touched right now. So just, you know, the reason I name these things is so we can be more aware of them and say, oh, that's a dynamic, that's a symbol that's happening in my sphere. It's not the I that is witnessing that. Does that make sense? Um, the other thing that's happening right now today is Pluto is going direct and Pluto. So, so just picture for the, the past five months, 
you've been um, on this very um, intense internal process of looking at your power. What has, where have you noticed power relationships, your relationship to power within those power relationships? Where have you felt disempowered? Where have you been like, oh my God, I've got to take my, my power back around whatever this, this situation is, this issue. Does anybody feel that? Can you put your, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so um, what, what's happening as, you know, I mean, this is such a weighty, you know, first of all, everything, would you say, well, let me, let me ask you, would you say that the energy feels um, light right now or a little heavier, like on a continuum, on a continuum of zero to being light and airy and 10 being just like a leaden weight? Where would you, where would you place the energy right now? You can put that in the chat if you want. Cranky. Uh-huh. Cranky energy? You mean for everybody? Is everybody cranky or just just that's where you're feeling it? Yeah, there's an eight in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're talking about lightness and heaviness right now because I, I was thinking about this. I was like, oh my God, this week the world has felt so heavy. Not that the world hasn't felt heavy before, right? But it's just like, wow. Like, it's, it's almost like um, quicksand, trying to breathe under quicksand. Is anybody having that experience of just that things are just, it's just, it's hard to lighten up right now. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're saying that's how it shows up for you. It's crankiness. Yeah, irritability. So, um, so Pluto, you know, Pluto has been sitting us, on us like a, like a 10 ton, a 10 ton weight. And, um, so Pluto is now, is now kind of, you know, breathing, you know, waking up, waking up for all of us. And so there, this is like a very significant, I think, especially since Pluto is so late in Capricorn, we've been at this since, ah, uh, you know, 2008, we've just been feeling Pluto, you know, just grinding on us. And so now we're really like at the end stages of that cycle. So this last few months that we have coming up here, especially with eclipse season, which is exciting, um, we're really going to start to make power moves. And, and, you know, I don't mean that just as a prediction. I just, it just seems to me that at the end of this long transit and everything that we've tried to put our faith into that's in the outside system, outside systems, outside world, government, you know, it's just doesn't seem like it wants to be there anymore. And so this is a reclamation of power. So just while we look at everything that's happening with that in the world, look at what's happening with you with that. This feels a little weird that you guys aren't on off mute. It's like usually I feel like you're you're off mute and we're talking and here I am I'm lecturing. It doesn't feel right. And you so hear me? Um, someone is feeling it physically, anxious, blood pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And fatigue. Yeah. Are you able to hear us? Yeah, there's a lot that's going on with our cellular structures too, I think right now. Just just like what does it mean uh, first of all, how has our consciousness been really deeply changing? How are we changing in relationship to this creation we call life? And then what do we have to shift inside of our biology and our psychology and our whole worlds in order to have this life work for us better? <clears throat> Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Can you hear me? No, you can't. Mm -mm. No, I can't hear you. And I'm not sure why. Oh, I, I think, can... um, do I have to unmute you? Maybe. Possibly. Probably. Unmuted, because I'm... Yeah. Oh. Hold on. This is embarrassing. Operator error. <laughs> ha! <laughs> you know what? It happens every day. Okay, I can hear you now. Awesome. I can only hear myself. I was like, what am I doing? I'm talking. I can't hear anybody. What's happening? <laughs> Thanks, guys. 
Oh, you can hear each other, but I can't hear you. Okay. I own it. I own it. I own my power with the mute button. Oh, okay. So what, so, oh gosh, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did you say? Some of us responded to how are you? And, <laughs> and I'm just going on and on. Thinking like, we're oh. being rude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is the first time this has happened. It seems like every every time there's something new and exciting. I mean, this is just the excitement <laughs> of life, right? Oh, here we go. Oh, there you guys are. Oh, I feel so much better. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, just pop, pipe in anytime you want here. But the other thing that we have going on is eclipse season is coming. And you're probably this. I, I mean, there's so many things to talk about that. I'm just sort of throwing this stuff out here, but really what we're looking at is tremendous amounts of change and change activation that's happening this month. So um, people getting ready to pivot, getting ready to, um, I think, make make some moves. I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, Oh my goodness. So did that make sense at all about um, like other people in your life feeling like you're kind of watching, you're kind of testing out things with your self-worth with other people? What do you think about that? Well, I know I've been around my mother a lot and that's a big button pusher. So yeah, trying to retain. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes retain your own your own sovereign space by the end of the visit it's like damn it i missed it yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i mean another thing that i had written about is just the purification cycle of venus has so much to do with self-worth and we're in that for a couple of months you know um th this is a time where i feel like people are kind of reaching the last place that they're willing to be pushed well the last place has been reached and what's happening from now forward to the end of the year is like uh-uh nope nope you're not going to do that nope nope this is boundary here i value and love myself so much mm. that that i'm not going to um create um a class system here where you're above me somehow and mm -hmm. I'm the one that's below or I'm a second class citizen in my own life. Right, right. And yeah. I think this is very serious. I think this is a, going on for so many people is where do we do that? That's what I've done in the probably past two years strongly. Is put yourself on the back burner? No, not back burner. No, just what you said that um, that oh. I, I that we're all equals. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you um, put yourself at the table. Is this Deborah? I yes. can't see you, but I can. I know your voice. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. So you've kind of gone to a new level for yourself. You know, and Pluto is just so difficult because Pluto is power games. It's not just, it's like, it would be so simple if we could just say, okay, everybody gets their own amount of power. Everybody's okay. We're all equal. But when Pluto comes in and is sort of pressing on everything that's going on, it there are dynamics that occur. There are like power over dynamics, you know, being, you know, overpowered by somebody or um, subterfuge or having coercion or like um, having relationships that are based on some kind of like emotional coercion that are not really, there's just nothing light about Pluto. So, and I'm, I'm talking about Pluto because it's going direct right now. So I feel like this just adds to everything else. Is there anybody here who has any cardinal planets? Um, so, and we're going to look at tomorrow when it's all going to hit, but um, so around 15, 16 degrees of Libra, Aries, um, uh, Capricorn, or Cancer, because those are the people that may feel the most, you know, pinged by this full moon and this cardinal energy. 
And the other thing I was going to just say is this moon is ruled by Mars. And Mars is, of course, the god of war. And so I was going to ask you to just reflect on with all this sensitivity and possibly defensiveness that's in the collective with, with the moon and, and Chiron and it's all in Aries and, and Jupiter's there too. Um, are there some things you have been at war with? And I always intend these meetings to be much more than just informational. I want you to just imagine that we've got a great big, um, they're doing construction across from my house. So just like one of those dumpster things, and we'll just put it in a virtual center of all of us. And I want you to just feel like you can throw that stuff in there and we'll just, we'll just burn it up. So just, you know, calling the stuff up doesn't, it doesn't mean it has to stick to you. It's actually an empowering thing where you say, okay, I, you know, these are the things that I'm seeing and I want to get rid of these things. So what have you been at war with? And you don't even have to share this with me. I'm just asking for your consciousness to kind of shut it out. Um, you know, either with others, uh, has there been a part of you that's felt like, oh my God, I've got to fight for anything I want in this life. Um, do I, God, I've got to fight for, for position or I've got to fight for, to just to have my territory and my space, or I've got to fight to, to just be me, or I've got to fight to, um, you know, to have people be sensitive to me in the way that I really require, I have to fight to have, to receive, I have to fight so, you know, I think what's difficult about this particular energy is just that it, it does have that um, that martial quality to it of having to be at war with something or go to battle. Does that resonate with anybody? Mm -hmm. It's. Um, and a lot of it may be coming up in relationship to others or to something else, you know, that you're seeing others as? I would say for me, it's internal. You know, I, I think I compare in despair or I'll say, um, I, or I measure, you know, with others, but, but the fight is inside me and reminding myself, yeah. don't go there. You don't need to do that to yourself. That's not, you know, let it yeah. go, you know, yeah. um, do your thing, use your tools, get over yeah. yourself. <laughs> yeah yeah is is there marta is, is a particular wound that comes up then when you say compare and despair i kind of like that because they rhyme mm -hmm. and um is it a well actually the first thing i might ask you and everybody do this at the same time if you'd like who does that belong to and is that yours or someone else's mm -hmm. or does it belong to something else in the collective and if it is pulling away from you as I ask that, let's just return it. Let's just return that to its, um, um, to its source before it even was that. Because isn't it interesting how sometimes we'll battle with something that we've uh, been given or inherited? You know, we were raised by imperfect people, most of us. And right. so, um, you know, or teachers mm -hmm. or anybody in our neighborhood. And so, you know, how much of that is just some crazy stuff that got handed down, like um, compare and despair. So just take a look at that and, and look at maybe a little bit of energetic separation from it as even yours. I, can you hear me? Sinia? Sinia, yes. Um, I found <laughs> that I'm fighting me. Okay. That it's like... Um, I'm sort of at a, at a standstill and I need to move forward. And so I keep, I don't, I'm not, I can't even define it. I, I'm sort of trying to push myself mm -hmm. out of the way so that I can figure out what's going on and go forward. It's, it's stagnated. That's what it is. I feel stagnant. Like I can't move forward and I can't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, feel into this as I say it. Do you feel like you are a person who likes to have impeccable timing or good timing? Uh, I guess, yeah. 
Are you waiting for the timing to line up? Possibly. Yes, I am. And so what if you're not stuck or stagnant? What if you're just making a choice because um, things haven't quite lined up and you're very good at telling when something has lined up? Mm -hmm. And, and now, and one thing you said is I want to move myself out of the way, like, yeah, like as if you're an obstacle. What if you're not an obstacle? What if there's a different energy that's the uh, obstacle? Hmm. I've been blaming me pretty oh. much most of the, I do. I'm very hard on myself. Yeah. 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 What if it's nothing's wrong with you? That would be so nice to be. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> yes. To know that today you'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, just play with that for a minute okay. because, because you know, sometimes there are things we want to create and go for and, uh, you know, whether it's a certain shade, you know, color, I, I don't know. I mean, any, it could be anything. It could be something mm -hmm. we're making or cooking and we're like, oh, that, that's not quite it. I'm not quite, that's not quite exact, you know, or um, I'm not using the right analogy. It's almost like we're trying to take a photograph and the clouds are kind of moving and we're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, there's the sun. Yeah. Oh, let me get it. Ah, there it is. That's what I feel with you. Yeah. Like you're wait, you're just yeah. Yeah. Well, more concrete. I'm trying to mm -hmm. make a or uh, paint a mural and <clears throat> I just cannot get the perfect. I don't know. And so I sit and look at it. I look at my drawings and I go, no, this is not what I want. Why can't I put my, well, you, you know, and it's just like 50 things in my mind trying to figure out how can I do this? How would I be able to, can I move and go ahead and do it? And if it doesn't come out right, I can paint over it. Yeah. So, but, I, it, but it's a little more fun to move when you are feeling it, right? When you're like, oh, you know, now I get it and now I'm ready. Yeah. And so, so I think, you know, what, what if you just removed any judgment about the amount of time it might be taking you to ah, make a judgment? And that's and hard for like, me. Yeah. Well, or is it, maybe it's not hard for you. I, um, I'm very patient with most people. I'm not patient with myself at all. No, that's interesting. So you're kind of a second class citizen. Like, remember how I was saying earlier, like, two standards like i get nothing but everybody else i'll be very patient and kind yeah well that was that's the nurse in me it's okay. uh <laughs> i I'm, I'm been retired for quite a while but it's still hanging on it's okay. like i have to take care of everything else mm -hmm. before i take care of me okay. and i'm really trying to get away from that well and and so sometimes you know it's like one of these funny things because i feel like um we will be, you know, reserve all the kindness and the love for another. And we're like, oh, you're so wonderful. And then we're just so mm, against mm -hmm. ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. And so what if you just flip the two? Just, just, just go ahead and... Well, mm -hmm. if you're kind, maybe you're kind to a patient, just flip the two. Ah. And be see yourself there and just... Fine. Yeah, yeah. Instead of that, you have to take a position, you know what I'm saying? With mm -hmm. the other, you're only kind, it only goes out that way. Just put yourself there. Well, I'm getting better at that. But I this, this, this time frame has been like you say, really heavy. Yeah. And it's like, I, I, ugh, it's, yeah. I can't find the patience for myself. It's just like somebody's pushing me backwards mm -hmm. instead of you know and it might be me and that's you know one of the things that i need to take care of but yeah it's just like i cannot move yeah there there is that there is that cement like quality to these times yes and the cement is also it, it is us and it's also not us and i i'm sorry i don't want to sound so confusing about it but um um, it's like everywhere that we say that, so, so, so first of all, for everybody, if there's something that seems like cement in your world, I'd like you to call your attention to it not being you. And so just be aware that it's, it's, it's something you're aware of, okay? But it's not you perceiving it, okay? So that's the first. 
And the next is everywhere you are adhering to that energy and making it you against you, will you destroy and uncreate it and just let it go. So it's, it's, a, it's a weird thing. Like we are everything, but in a way it's a choice. We choose what, what you know, and there are going to be things that are other people's constructions that don't work at all for us. And we try to make those energies work for us. And typically what I'm, I always call attention to is if something is super heavy, it's either a lie that we're believing has to be true for us to make our world work, or it's just it's just something else's energy that we're trying to like make it work, and mm. it's just not working at all. So just play with that as an idea. Mm -hmm. Is that helpful? Yep, yep. And then for everybody, everybody can, yes. can enjoy this. So some things about Pluto Direct is this is about transformation. It's about composting. Well, noticing where the garbage is, taking out the garbage, <laughs> composting the garbage, and then also power issues, but also empowerment. So just say hello to something refreshing coming into your being right now that you're going to have this like, ah, I can take this power and have it. And I don't have to play those games anymore. So that's that's uh, uh, something to really, really have awareness about. Um, what else is coming up for people right now that we should pay attention to or that I could speak to? Knowing that I missed five minutes of your comments at the beginning. <laughs> can, you, can you hear me? Hmm? Can you? I can. Uh, Hi. Well, well, when we speak of being a second class person, I feel very sad that I live that life, you know, that that I I, I live that way. I don't want to I'm not I don't want to live that way anymore. But mm -hmm. I feel very sad that mm -hmm. I always put myself second. You know what I mean? In yeah. a lot of and I yeah. just have a sadness. And how do um yeah. You know, I guess you just sit with, you know, it is, it is sad, you know. Um, yes, yes. And it's like, you know, feelings come up to be felt yeah. and fully, yeah. you know, and, and I'm thinking so much of that Chiron with the moon and that, oh, this is killing me that I've done this to yeah, myself. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, what the hell, um. you know? <laughs> And it's yeah. like, I would never do that to anyone else. I know. Yes. So it's like having that, you know, and, and of course, the feeling and the awareness of the feeling is not itself a prison of any kind. It's just okay. a feeling. It's like, oh, I don't want to feel that. Oh, I'm feeling that. Okay, well, mm -hmm. and then it kind of, it, it, it reforms into something new. Mm -hmm. But I think that's a wonderful awareness to have. Yeah. Of, of how much that may have been true at times. Yeah. And also you may be feeling the sadness of those who taught it to you. Yes. 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 Yeah. And what that did to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot. Yeah. Yeah. But knowing that, how can I put it, that you, um, everyone here is can relate in some shape or form and that you understand is cathartic. It, it helps me, you know. Yes. And I have the shame of it. So, yes. It, it, ah, yeah. Well, and it's so <clears throat> widespread, right? Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of yeah. people who may have been doing this to themselves and that, you know, this is sort of an enough is enough moment, which is very powerful, I think. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm trying, I'm trying to think, you know, because there, there's kind of this energy in the collective right now. I was like, oh my goodness, what am I going to talk about? Because there's sort of a, a sense of directionlessness and like awaiting. And this has been going on, I think, for a couple of years. Like, well, yep. what's going to happen with the government? What's going to happen yep. with other countries? Yep. What's going to happen with the economy and, and the stock market? And it's like, well, you know, um, does anybody want to change that? Or, I mean, how are you feeling for yourself with that? Do you feel like you're, you have direction and everything's like, you know, what's happening for you right now? 
or does it feel like there's this like the world is spinning and you're kind of like getting dizzy watching no i tell you one thing I've, where i've been selfish is that i have quit watching or listening to news and what's happening out there because there's so much in here that i need to take care of that i yeah. just i figure the world will go without me i have to take care of myself i have to find a way out this is very true it's yeah. very true i mean it's i think it's almost never been so true that we have to yeah. yes truly take care of ourselves yep. and um i'm just checking out Yeah, yeah. Well, and and I mean, the news is scary. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, and um, and also, I, I mean, do you do you notice that there's a difference between watching the news and then um, verifying uh, newsworthy events in your own life, such as like so and so called me, this happened for me, I'm excited about this, things that you can verify for yourself. Do you know what I'm saying by that? Is there a difference between watching, you know, news outlets and mm -hmm. and looking at what's going on in your immediate environment that you can verify and how you feel about things in your own life? I think sometimes those things can be just as overwhelming. Okay. So oh, yeah. Not just yeah. kind of deciding like what you're going to hold space for, yep. you know, if it's going to be something external. Yeah. or something internal so I think that yeah. you know people around us work family friends can you know they have their own sets of it, the way in which that functions can be equally as stressful so that is true that is yeah. true so maybe it's not an either or you know it's a both um, and I think yeah, yeah. I think the choice is, am I going to let this in for me? Do I need to believe this about myself? And just, you know, I mean, I, I know that I'm getting better, that I have more, um, I don't know, um, I'm aware, I'm more aware of when I'm going sideways. Yeah. But it's a lot of work. And when mm -hmm. all these heavenly planets decide to just squish us in it yeah. really becomes difficult yeah it does and if we have any scorpios or people with scorpio planets, yes you know, or or the other fixed signs really um just just be aware that we do we are preparing for eclipse season um in your scorpio sector uh, uh, and, and just yeah well i've seen a scorpio rising and that's uh, that's heavy well it's it's um it's very uh literal like it's like be really being able to track what's happening mm -hmm. really being able to see it like the path like a new path coming or a new you coming in the way that you want to be uh, yeah yeah so that's exciting yes it is Wow. Yeah, I never thought about that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, eclipses are the removal of something. You know, sometimes you can think of it like, I mean, I don't smoke cigars, but like I've heard of it <laughs> said this way, clip uh, the clipping of a cigar tip, like, uh, you just, like, tick, you yes. Something. And so it's a beginning and an ending at the same time, especially the, the new moon eclipses. Um, it's just like, it's like in order to have a new path, you shut something off, you cut something off and you're done with it, which is kind of in keeping with the rest of what we've been talking about. Right. So as, as I talk about that, you know, and there are different levels in the room right now, but everybody's got something that you're looking at. That's like, I'm going to close the door on that. I've, I've made a decision. So just, you know, letting that come up for you right now is great. Um, for some reason, I'm just, I'm wanting us to do the meditation, but do you want to have a little more discussion? Is there anything else that you want to talk about related to the, the full moon energies, to Chiron? Um, 
all of this healing stuff that's going on or even just the the shift of Pluto, which is this like I'm taking my power back kind of energy. Yeah. Yep. No, it's like I'm, I, I've got a map in my head now about, you know, what's yeah. So it, it should ease my mm, not anger, just uncomfortableness. Actually, everybody just take a moment to imagine that you're not on the back burner anymore, even if this is a total fantasy. And I don't care if it's friends, family, the outside world, whoever it is that you've given seniority to at any time or, or given, given that sense of um, autonomy to in any way or thinking that that's love. That's another thing that I think goes on with Pluto is like, okay, I'll trade you my self-esteem for in exchange for like, anyway, it's like yeah. you'll have allegiance for something that's not really love and this yeah. is what we, we're calling it. But so I just want you to imagine that there's a path in front of you where you're, you really are cleaning up the edges, just cleaning up the edges and it's your path. It's just for you straight ahead and it's yours. And nobody else is allowed to infringe on those boundaries right now. And I want you to just imagine, first of all, just feel what happens to your body when you know that there's something for you as a consciousness. Like this is yours. This is your path. And nobody's allowed to take it away. They're not allowed to alter it without your permission. They're not allowed to come in and tell you stuff about it. And just see if the cells of your body have any response to that. If you can just feel that... And I say feel because feeling is what we do as beings, as human beings, we feel things. So if you were to choose with your consciousness, which is extremely powerful, a path, just choose to notice the path, the path is already there. And that it's got a boundary and it can be a pretty boundary or it could have barbed wire. And I just want you to acknowledge that it is in existence for you. And anything that doesn't belong uh, as an obstacle gets kicked out right now to the side. So it's not on the path. You know, it can be over there or something, but it's not going to be on your path. And I just just tune in and see how your body feels with that. Like whether that feels like a, um, a yes. Or, so, you know, if you can breathe in to yourself a little bit more deeply, knowing that you have that. Mm. Shall we do the meditation? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. I feel so funny about that beginning when I couldn't hear anybody. Okay. So just, <laughs> Okay. Just take, so just take a deep breath. And uh, I know some of you have been here for this meditation before and others of you haven't. And um, just go ahead and uh, feel a sense of being held by where you're sitting. You can relax, your spine gets to relax. You get to take a breath in. And imagine that you have a beautiful magnet in the center of your being and you are calling back all your energy from every space and conversation and thought pattern all the way back to your body, to you now. And just let it all come back. Great. And from the center of your head, as you're sitting, just, just allow yourself to relax and go ahead and drop a cord of energy to the center of the earth that is your grounding cord and let it plug into a place that has, you know, just a spot with your name on it. And let it just magnetically pull you down, relax you even more to the earth. The earth knows what it's doing even if there's some people that are running around on the top. And uh, identify anything that doesn't feel like you to be released down through your grounding. 
and just take a breath in and inhale you and exhale anything that's not you anything stressful anything judgmental just let it go And now let's just go to a spot in the center of your head and you can find this spot by drawing an imaginary line through each ear and one through your forehead out through the back of your head. And the place where these two lines intersect is the center of your head. And go ahead and just put a, a dot of your own gold energy right there. And allow it to expand. And just let it expand to the size of a golf ball and then a baseball. And as it does, it's pushing out anything that is not it. This gold light. Until it's filling up the inside of your head. And now just let it gradually recede back down to the size of about a golf ball in the center of your head. And you can just say hello to yourself there and listen to hear the sound of your own voice saying hi back. Yeah, and you can just come back to the room and just see how you feel. Just see if you feel a little ownership. Even my cat got quiet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, cats do like meditation. <laughs> Dogs also. Yeah. Yeah. And how did you feel about the path? Could you kind of have a sense of that? Expansive. Nice. It's like I take a, a deep breath and, and actually fill my lungs with it. Yeah. There's a level of clutter in the world right now that if we do not claim the space, it'll just be like, there is no path. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. Incredible. Mm -hmm. And so the value of just taking um, even just this small amount of time to do this is really, it's really great. You know, especially first thing in the morning before you start your day so that um, you're kind of claiming that. Let's see, there's a message here. Everybody gets really quiet after the meditation. Yeah, it's peaceful. Yeah, it is really peaceful. Well, this was an interesting, uh, this will be, it'll be interesting to see how, how you feel through this full moon and what comes up for you. I almost feel like this is like a great time to journal it and just say, okay, th this is the stuff that's coming up for me that I think about myself, especially with the Chiron. And then, and also if you know where you have Aries in your chart, does everybody have a sense of that to mm -hmm. kind of it doesn't necessarily even matter what the house is just because it's on the moon. Everybody's going to kind of feel it, I think, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, you're saying sun. Yeah, identity. The sun. Identity. And vitality as well. 
And, you know, one of the things I think with the sun, um, when we get all of this stuff going on is like, okay, wait a minute, who's sucking me dry that way? You know, who's, who's taking my vitality? So that's what comes up when I think of the sun. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, Aries sun, yeah, with, with Pluto, you know, Pluto's squaring that and saying, you better, you know, uh, take that sun, take that vitality seriously, you better take that vitality seriously, because there's a bully in the room, <laughs> so you have to, you have to um, say no to any bullying to that vitality, to anything taking your vitality, does that make sense? Yeah. So is there anything else that, that you guys need from me moving forward? Um, I'm uh, looking into doing a seven week class Ooh. and it will be on owning your energy. And uh, I'm just thinking about these times coming up. So I'll probably put that out there to you to let you know about it. Um, what else are you wanting in the next couple of months, like or needing, really? Just to listen to others that are going through, you know, what I'm going through or feeling, mm -hmm. and you talking about all these energies that might be yeah. coming in, or that is just so helpful. It really oh, is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'll, I would still love to do these, I think, at least on the full moons, because I think that's when the energy is really cresting. And mm -hmm. when everyone, even if they don't speak the language of astrology, are going to be going, oh, yeah, it's weird out there. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's not weird for me, it's weird for my coworkers, or it's weird for my community or whoever, because um, you can recognize it. Um, and if, you know, I would especially love to know if there are things that you need in terms of protecting yourself energetically at this time, because that is, well, that's really where, where we are with being sovereign, is, is just being able to notice when an energy is coming toward you and you're like, mm -mm, I don't think so, and being able to, to push that back. You can think about it and you can email me <laughs> <laughs> or you can put your email in the chat if you want more information too about the class. And uh, yeah, we'll continue to do these though. I love these oh, tune-ups. Yeah. Anybody yeah. else? I feel like I can't see everybody, but maybe this is everybody. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, and and you know, there're going to be energies too that you don't that you don't understand. It's like, god, that is so weird. I will never understand that whatever that thing is that people are doing. And that's okay too. It's like the recognition of it. So there're going to even be like sometimes there's an energy that's crazy for you. And it just makes you feel crazy. And I want you to to trust that yeah, that's, cr that's crazy energy for you. And you don't have to even understand it. Like you don't, like, um, I, I would prefer that you just have energy skills and not even force yourself to have to understand something that makes no sense to you, you know? Because there are going to be people, I mean, have you ever had somebody approach you from a space and you're like, I, I don't even know where that came from? Oh, yeah. You're, you're like, hmm, I don't mm -hmm. understand how you're thinking that. Yeah. Yeah, and and this is an earth. This is an earth. What am I saying? This is a world where um, there's a lot of that. Wonderful, thank you. Um, there's there's you know I I mean this is one of these you know the planet is a place that has everything. It's got what you want, and it's got what you don't want. And it's like, oh my God, you know, and that's why we have to be so aware and, and, and just choose, just choose. Okay, I choose this. Yes, I do not choose this. Thank you. You know, and, and really, you know, if, if you've ever had your boundaries encroached upon, as many of us have growing up or any time, you know, this is, this is really, it's really great to have those skills to just say, okay, these are my boundaries and thou shalt not cross. 
So, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's really, it's really important, especially with the information fields and stuff that we've talked about before. Um, that's that's the level. There's one thing I didn't talk to you guys about which is the Mars square Neptune, which is kind of coming active this next week. I should have spoken about that. Um, um, just, and that's why I was talking about the information field. So um, again, if something doesn't make sense to you, you don't have to let it in. It doesn't have to be yours. You're not going to do anything with it. You know, it's like somebody handing you this oddly wrapped package and asking you to to do something with it no thank you I won't and I think we just have to get more used to saying oh there's this weird field of information that says this about the world and then therefore about me so I have to adhere to that no you don't and and that's the most important thing to me is that we be able to not get our brain glued to something that's not that's not for you to create and it's not for you to live right yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's great to see you guys is there anything else you want to say before we we say goodbye no just thank you very much for being there for us uh, thank, thank you. you thank, thank you. you it was my pleasure this is really fun i always love these and even when there's technical issues, it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, guys. And be in touch. Let me know how you're doing this week, okay? Okie doke. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.